Welcome to Fine Art Diary. Today we are going to learn how to stretch your own canvas. So let's get started. First of all, you need a canvas cloth. For that, you can directly buy a piece of cloth from the store or you can have a canvas roll like this. Then you can cut it in desired size. Today I am going to use this particular roll. It is a medium grain 10 ounce cotton duck canvas. You can see this is a pre-primed canvas. It is primed with acrylic gesso. You also can use unprimed canvas like this and later on you can prime it at your studio. This is a rough grain canvas. You can see this is unprimed and raw and you can see the grains also. You can prime this and can convert into this kind of primed surface by using gesso. In my later videos, I will show you how to prime a canvas with gesso. So today I am going to use my canvas roll only. We also need wooden stretcher bar like this. This will be the internal frame on what we are going to stretch the canvas. It is having four wooden parts and you can dismantle this from these corners and you can keep it like that when it is not in use. It can save some space in your studio. The thickness of the stretcher bar is one and a half inch in depth. And now let's measure the frame. I am planning to measure it in the longer side. Taking a measuring tape and measure the longer side and it is 18 inch. So the front length is 18 inch, the side is one and a half and the back one and a half inch. So the total length we need to cut is 18 plus 3 plus 3, total 24 inches. Now let's take a scale and measure 24 inches and give it a mark and I will do the same at this area also. Now connect these dots and give a line over there. Now I am going to use the scissor that is specially made for cutting the canvas. You can see the teeth of it that can create beautiful zigzag pattern edges. It is having one benefit, from the edges, the threads will not be loose enough, threads will not come out. You can avoid getting this kind of edge. Now let's cut the canvas in a size of 24 by 18 because my canvas size is 18 by 12. Alright, you can see we have got the canvas in the proper size we need and we are getting beautiful zigzag pattern edges. Now I will just flip it. Now I will keep my frame on it. In the frame, one side is sliding inside a little bit from the edge. And at the back, it is flat. Alright? So the side going inside is the front. So I will keep the front flipped inside. And at the back, I am going to stipple. Now I need a stipple gun. You can see this is a stipple gun with stipple pins. I am using 8mm stipple pins over here. Now let's insert the pins inside the gun. And we are all set to stipple. First I am planning to give two staples in this side and two staples exactly at the opposite side. I have to hold it very tight and let's staple. I have to give one more in this area. I am keeping a gap of approximately 2 inches. Now let's do the same thing on the other side. 
This time I am holding very tight and I will stipple exactly at the opposite. Here also another stipple. Now I am going to do the same thing with the longer sides. So you can see all the sides I have given two two stipples. Now coming to the longer side and I will stipple the rest of the length keeping the same interval. Okay, and you can see we already getting a very beautiful surface and you can hear the sound also. Alright, now coming to the corners, these are the most important part in stretching a canvas. First of all, I am holding one side tightly like this. It has to be straight. Okay, and I am holding till the corner. With my right hand, I am holding the canvas, and with my left hand, I am giving a fold at the corner approximately 45 degrees. Like this. And then you need to overlap this fold with another fold from that side corner and just overlap this okay you can see it is looking decent now and stepple i'll do this once again with the other side so holding the canvas and giving the first fold like this 45 degree and then overlap this fold with the other fold all right and now staple it bring the same for other two sides Alright, we have stretched our canvas and you can see how beautiful surface we have got. And let's listen the sound from this. So we have stretched the canvas and it is ready to paint. After painting, what generally I do, I remove the canvas from the stretcher bar and I roll it like this. After rolling it, you can keep it at the corner of your studio and it will take very less space. Now I will show you how to remove the canvas from the stretcher bar. Suppose I want to remove this particular pin from here. For this, I am using a stipple remover like this. And you can see it is having a tongue at the tip. You just need to insert it through the pin and need to press it. So let's do that. I'm inserting it through the pin and now press it. And you can see it has come out. So like this you can remove all the pins very quickly and your canvas will come out of the stretcher bar. So this is all for today. In the next video I am going to show you how you can create this gesso in your studio itself so stay tuned for that now my canvas is absolutely ready for painting i will come up with more videos on different subject matters till then stay tuned hope you enjoyed the session 
and don't forget to subscribe the channel for the future videos thank you very much for watching